All right, a big debate is should we buy an electric zero turn mower or just a gas powered one? Now this mower that I'm sitting on right now, it's about 52, 60 inches wide in terms of the deck, brand new commercial mower. I'm looking around 12 to $13,000 to buy this unit. The biggest the advantage to gas powered is it's cheaper. This is 12, 13, $14,000 depending on your brand. If I'm gonna step this up to an electric mower, I'm looking around 25 to $30,000 in terms of cost just to buy the mower. And the big cost in that is my batteries. The benefit to electric is the fact that there's not a lot of wear and tear. Like there's only so many moving parts. You got the spindles, the blades, and there's no motors and carburetors. You don't have to fill it up with gas. It's just way less maintenance typically when it comes to an electric mower. That's all fine and good, but here's the problem that I have with it. If I'm comparing a $12,000 mower over here as gas, to a $30,000 mower, that means $18,000 difference in price. More than twice the cost just to buy an electric mower. Now, if we take the average cost per kilowatt hour of power as 17 cents, and we assume that to fill up a mower that's electric is gonna take 16 kilowatt hours, it means it's gonna cost you about $3 to fill up an electric mower. Let's assume you then go use it for five, six, seven hours throughout the day. Let's say it is 80% cheaper to operate an electric mower compared to a gas mower. Let's consider it 80% cheaper. So it would then mean $15 for the cost of fuel for gas and then $3 for the cost of electric. Well, that's all fine and good. It means I save $12 for every single time I fill up that mower. But here's the problem. I paid $18,000 more just on the initial purchase price, which means if I'm saving $12 per time I fill up and I was mowing 200 days per year, it would take me more than seven years to recoup the cost in savings of my initial investment. That's a lot of money. $18,000 will buy you a lot of gas. And the question that I have right now here in 2023 is still like, we haven't seen these electric mowers. How long do they last? Do they last five, 10, 15 years? Do they last 40, you know, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000 hours? Or are they gonna have issues around 2,000 hours and I need to replace the batteries? So I still wanna see this technology proven in terms of maintenance before I go commit to paying so much more. And I also believe that the cost of batteries and the cost of this type of uh, mower is going to go down in time. I would be willing to maybe pay 15 or $16,000 for a battery operated unit compared to 12 or 13 for a gas powered, but I'm not yet willing to spend more than double on a battery operated unit. The only way I would do that is if the type of contracts that I'm getting value a quieter service, electric mowers. This could be things like a Microsoft or an Apple headquarters where they're really eco-conscious and eco-friendly, or potentially even municipalities or uh, cities that hey, like, hey, we have a certain initiative, we wanna have everyone having electric on our lawn. If you get an electric lawnmower, you might be the only provider in your city that can even service their, their accounts, which is a great opportunity to get more accounts. So ultimately, I don't think it makes sense from a financial perspective unless the accounts that you are getting require or are willing to pay more for the electric mower.